On April 2nd, 2024, officers of the Greenfield Police Department were dispatched to a Walgreens in the city of Greenfield, Milwaukee County to assess a retail theft in progress. When officers arrived at the scene, the culprits immediately got into their silver Porsche and fled. One of the officers then initiated a high-speed pursuit, which lasted approximately 3.3 miles and reached a top speed of 113 miles per hour. Oklahoma East of 76, checking our side. You're saying he held a knife here? Oh, yeah, I don't know if it was a knife or it was a screwdriver. Okay. Like in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have you take a seat. Well, we need a squad to control the neighborhood down by the way. Okay. What are you going to do? I was visiting my cousin. Neighborhood that's right there. 
Did they catch him? What's that? Did they catch him? I'm sorry, what? Did they catch him? They're trying to find him right now. Oh my god. Is he staying with you at the hideaway or? No, that's the guy that was staying with me. He's at the at the Walgreens. I know, the guy that was with you. Yeah, the, the white yeah, gentleman. Is he staying Chris? at the hideaway too or just you? No, both of us. Okay. Did you rent the room or is he on the room? He rented the room. He, he rented the room? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Are my cigarettes in there? Excuse me. Are my cigarettes in the purse? Your cigarettes? Yeah. I'll double check. Which ones are you smoking? The Newports? Newports, yeah. Okay. Fucking piece of shit. So I'll even show you where this fucking kid lives. That's why he said it was slow down. And that's why he said. Yeah, 894 prior to the 27th Street block right now. So we're going to have to enter at uh, 16th Street. For I think uh, Loomis for I think uh, Loomis Road is open. Yeah, when you start getting hostile, start to get crazy with me. Because the vehicle is slowing down. There's just the land slow down. Did you tell my friend at Walgreens? What's that? Did you tell my friend at Walgreens? Uh, we still have to go up to Walgreens. Oh, okay. I gotta worry about your car that's uh, in the middle of the freeway here. Is it your car or his car? It's my friend's car. I did not. He was hopping off the other side as I was picking up. Did you say his name was Ricky? No, Ray. Ray. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, there was one more container. It's cold. It's cold, officer. So cold. Mm. 
So, you okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I understand that you're trying to provide us information on trying to help you, but because you are, in our view right now, a suspect at this point, you're in custody, yeah. I need to read you your rights, okay? Mm-hmm. So if you want to continue talking to me, i got to read these first. Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Any you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense before and during any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning and remain silent at any time you wish. And the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during questioning. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Are you still willing to speak with me? Yes. So his name is Ray. You're staying with him at the hideaway. Who was him? The guy at the Walgreens. What's that? The guy at Walgreens. There's a white male. There's a white male at Walgreens? Yes, that's my friend. He went inside Walgreens. <coughs> okay. And then the black dude wasn't supposed to be in Walgreens. Who's this black dude to you? Um, my cousin Cassie's boyfriend. Your cousin Cassie's boyfriend? Yes, she lives on 7th and Wind Lake. Just, I'm sure you where is it? Where does he live? 7th and Wind Lake. 7th and Wind Lake? Mm-hmm. Okay. So how did you get connected with Ray tonight? Because Ray was going to get a ride. And I had to take my friend to Walgreens. I don't know what the fuck he did. He's new. Um, your, your, your white friends you had to take to Walgreens? No, he's just one. He needed boxers and socks. Okay. And um, so I was going to Walgreens. And Ray was supposed to get out there. Ray was supposed to get dropped off like on 12th and Lincoln. And you picked him up from 7th and Wind Lake? Okay, mm-hmm. he was supposed to go to 12th and Lincoln, but then he came with you up to Walgreens? Oh, he said, oh, I want to go to Walgreens, I gotta get something from there too. And I was like, uh, okay. And I was like, damn, I didn't want to come back all the way over here, because after Walgreens, we were just going to go to the room. So then, um, he ended up coming with us. He was supposed to get out the car, he gets out the car, he's like, um, I'll be right back, I'm going to go get something. And I was like, okay, whatever, he's just not thinking anything of it. And so then, uh, my friend goes in there, he's like, you coming in? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'll be in there a little bit. So you were inside Walgreens with them? No, I never got the chance to step for Walgreens. So, uh, by the time he was coming out, the car was off. He was like, um, baby, he was like, just go, go, go. And I'm like, no, he's calling the fucking cops. I was like, you're a fucking idiot. I was like, what the fuck? I said, don't put that shit in here. And he started throwing shit. And what was he, he carrying? Oh. Well, the laundry detergent and, uh-huh. and energy drinks and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, so ghetto. So uh, this is your white friend and then the black dude, Ray, that went inside? No, the black dude did all that shit by himself. Okay. Like, I didn't even know he was going to go in there for the detergent. That's stupid. Okay. So, um, but but your white friend was supposed to go to Walgreens in the first place anyway? Stocks and livers. Yeah. Okay, but did he go inside? Yeah. Okay, so they were both in, they were both in there. Yeah, but my white friend didn't even know what the heck he was going to do. Okay. None of us knew what he was going to do. We were just sitting there like, okay, so like, we first they're legit. Like, he, <laughs> he thought he was going to go in there and get something important. You know, not important, but at least something that you can purchase with money and cash. Yeah. That's not what it was. He brings out a fucking cart. And I was like, oh, hell no. I wasn't going to start the car. He started throwing the thing He got in there. He was like, come on, leave it. I said, no, I'm going to leave my friend here. I was like, no, this is his car. He was like, man, and my phone's dead, so I couldn't fucking car casting. But it made no point. It, there was no point in it anyway, because I know Greenfield Police. Okay. Yeah. So you you were in the car, mm-hmm. the car was turned off, and you were in the process of going inside when they started mm-hmm. coming back out? Yeah, he okay. came out by himself. My friend wasn't even out yet. So he came out by himself with the stolen merchandise. Your friend was still inside the store? Yes. yes. Okay, and that's how you ended up leaving him at the store? Yeah, because he wouldn't let me away from my friend. I was like, no, I was like, you should have taken that shit in the first place. Okay. I actually didn't want to drive off from the parking lot, the other parking where I was at. Okay. And I was like, no, I'll pull it over right here. <coughs> That's when he grabbed the fucking, the screwdriver. He, started, he grabbed some shit. He scattered everything right there. I don't even know what he was doing. And I was like, I'm pretty sure he's probably, sure he's probably dumping his fucking pockets in my fucking guy's truck. I was like, this is so fucking okay. stupid, man. So it was, he was in the back seat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... And he held what, a screwdriver to your throat? Yeah, it was a screwdriver. It was something pointy. I thought it was a knife because it was so pointy, but I didn't okay. even turn around and look. And he was like, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And then when uh, the, the car started to mess up, and I was like, dude, I am. He thought that I was lying. He was going to jab me. I was like, dude, oh my God. I was like, all this shit for nothing. I shouldn't even give you a fucking ride. Okay. Where would he be going back to right now? 7th and Wind Lake. 7th and Wind Lake? Uh-huh. Okay. And who was his friend? Is his name Octavio or? No, no, Chris. Chris? Yeah. Chris who? 
I don't know his last name. Oh wait, so you're just with people, you only know their first names, you don't know their last names? No. Okay. Alright, we're gonna head back to the station and we'll continue this conversation, okay? Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. I know I shouldn't go. She just went straight to the room. And then my friend Chris even said it too. He was like, I think we should just go straight. He said we should just go straight to the room. Oh. Did Chris rent the room at the hideaway or you did? Chris did. But I'm homeless. So he told me I could stay there. That I could stay there with him. Are you staying in room 11? Correct. Yeah? Yes. was later identified as Diaz Flores Betsy, who was then charged with possession of marijuana, possession of paraphernalia, eluding a traffic officer, and second-degree reckless endangerment. When officers apprehended the suspect, almost $204 stolen merchandise was found in their possession. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on the one on the screen now for more.